Well, praise the Lord. Just got back from the dog park today, and I met a sister that I spoke to for a couple hours about the things of uh, our Lord has personally shown me in my life, and of course we were sharing, and my big mouth, I did most of the talking, I'm afraid, but uh, she was, uh, she really received uh, the word of God from me unto her. She uh, told me that, this woman told me that she liked to uh, pray underneath the bridge when she was fishing. Uh, she felt uh, at peace there, that was her church, and of course, when I did all that time around the waterfront, I always felt the closest to the Lord, too, around the water. Um, but anyway, we just had a remarkable time of fellowshipping and uh, sharing, and it was spiritual because God moved that woman to leave her house, and God moved me to take the dogs to the dog park this morning. It was nothing of ourselves. It wasn't planned because as Jesus said, he will build his church. And I was talking about church people. There, They tried to build a church. They tried to do something for the Lord. But being, being a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ is simply that, following him in spirit. It has nothing to do with how well we're trained in the scriptures. Now, the scripture is very important that we know our scripture and we know proper doctrines and that type of thing. You won't get an argument from me for that. But the problem is, is that people uh, try to intellectually absorb the scriptures rather than applying them on a spiritual level and listening and following the Lord. And this is, this is the problem that uh, many church people have today is they want to be doing something in their service for the Lord, running a church, passing a plate, uh, setting up some type of uh, mission, setting up you know, all these kind of things that we see in the church uh, than we're used to with the church people, which is fine if God's called you to that. But I found that in my personal walk that God just simply leads me. I am simply a witness unto him where he places me. And uh, this is how the Holy Spirit works. This is why Jesus said he, again, Jesus said he will build his church, not that we have to build it for him. All we have to do is listen and obey um, the Holy Spirit that is within us, if we hear the Holy Spirit within us. And the pro the thing that competes for hear hearing the Holy Spirit within us, following the Lord in our hearts, is this. Proper doctrine, proper theology. The letter of the law kills, but the Spirit makes alive. And you'll find that if when you walk in the Holy Spirit, that peaceful powerful, all joyful, all knowing um, uh, communing that you have with a, a fellow brother or sister in Christ that the scriptures naturally fits into the situation that you're in. It naturally flows from your heart. The word of God, the Bible comes alive. Uh, but the word of God to a person specifically um, when, when the Lord is uh, sovereignly ordained a situation will actually flow, flow from your lips to that person's heart because it's not you doing it it's God doing it it's God being instrumental in building his church and building his sheep up and there's a counterfeit to that and we call it religion and if you go back uh, you know before um, the Reformation for instance people uh, the Catholic Church butchered tens of thousands of people more than the Nazis were ever, uh, were ever butchered. Um, of course, this was this was, you know, thousands, thousand years ago or so. But, but the whole point is, is if if you're doing anything other than listening and being obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ within you, you're you're doing just the same thing. You're practicing religion, and I don't care if you're using the scripture or not to do it. If you're twisting the scripture to do it, because the only way that the scripture really works is through God's people. And God doesn't require a person to spend years in a seminary to do his work. In fact, God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. But if you think about it, religion goes just the opposite 
of what the Bible teaches. And this is something that I'm coming into, something that I'm learning. And I don't really have to make any effort on my own to, uh, to preach Christ to people because I find that God just sets people before me. We are a witness unto him. We are a, his living testimony. And it will always fit biblically. And I don't have to try to make it fit biblically. I can't even memorize scripture like a lot of people can because I have uh, some brain injury now. But it doesn't matter because the truth of God doesn't have to do with the brain. It has to do with the spirit. And when the Lord is pleased to bring the scripture to me, then he does. And I found that a lot of times, a lot of the reasons that I don't remember scripture is because I'm arguing with pork. I'm arguing with uh, doing mental gymnastics with people who have theology degrees. And the Lord just doesn't allow me to uh, be able to um, quote the scripture back at them like a bunch of lawyers arguing doctrines, legalisms. No, but if I go out and I meet and God put somebody in my path and it just flowed from my lips, living water, the word of life, and they receive it. And religion is the thing that kills this. The letter of law is the thing that kills this. And this is what most people are trapped in. This is what most people will not see because they want to be comfortable in the world, having a church, having a domination. They want to be set up, and, and but they want to look good. They want to be seen as doing something for Jesus. Well, you know, when I almost died in the ocean, after getting out of the Coast Guard, I was caught in that riptide. I thought I was going to drown. And I was a very strong swimmer. God had to break that in me. But he told me, you can do nothing. And that means that you have to be dependent upon the Lord for your strength and to follow him. And he will do all things through you. So this is... This has taken me all my life to realize that everything wants to subvert our attention from looking unto the Lord Jesus Christ, from naturally following him, from naturally having his Holy Spirit flow through us to doing something, to doing gymnastics about him, to writing books, to writing seminaries, and the tree of knowledge crowd. But yet God says he uses, you know, he uses the idiot. He doesn't use the, uh, for the most part, he doesn't use the, um, well-versed, well-read, intellectual necessarily. But yet I found in my own case that he will quicken his word to me only if he wants to quicken it to me. Only for the edification of a, another brother or sister in Christ. And I've noticed that I can't hold up uh, if I'm just doing academia, Bible academia. It doesn't allow that. It doesn't allow those scriptures, which I was once much better at retrieving than I am now, to come to mind. And what, so what has really happened is God has made me more of a vessel for him. I am, I cannot depend on my own strength in uh, quoting scripture. I cannot depend on my own doctrine or, or theological resources or memorizing where the texts are in the scripture. I can't do it anymore. And uh, this is a blessing of God because then only God can do it through me uh, if he so is pleased. And so praise God. You know, I praise God for my brain injury. I praise God for for uh, my speech not being as uh, as I would like it to be. Because when the Lord does speak through me, they know that it's the Lord. They know it's not. They know that it cannot be me. Because I'm a babbling idiot. That's what they. That's what they see. You know, I'm just a a, a old tugboat mechanic. That's what they see. You know, I, I can't puff myself up in pride and say that I got all these years of, uh, you know, theology and seminary and uh, look at me, look at me, I have this doctor, that doctor. Well, actually, I do have, actually, I do have a couple of doctorates, honorary ones for the time that I worked in street ministry under Dr. Gross. Um, but never mind all that. It, 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 it's, 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 it's a counterfeit to listening and following the Lord Jesus Christ. It's boasting in the flesh. And uh, I noticed that church people do not like me pointing this out. They do not like that. It makes them uncomfortable. It threatens them. Another lady that came to the dog park today, she, as soon as she hold, heard the Holy Spirit communing between me and this uh, lady, uh, she left. She couldn't take it. 
because what fellowship does darkness have with light? No, nah, they don't like it. It's of a different spirit, and they can feel it. Yeah, if you're a true believer, you ever notice that? If the Lord's speaking through you, you're talking about the things of God, the people just disappear around you? That's because they're not his. They can sense uh, what spirit you're of, and it doesn't have anything to do with your training. It really doesn't. Now, being an elder, um, you know, it has to do with your walk in the Lord, your experiences in the Lord, and you should have a good Bible understanding, and you should be able to express yourself well uh, to people, be able to give a testimony that the hope that's within you. And, you know, it, it's amazing because I'm able to do that if the Lord sends somebody to me. But I cannot talk if they're not Son of God to me. This is something that I've noticed. So I praise God for my infirmities, for my weakness. And this is what the Apostle Paul understood. That without Christ, he was nothing. And that he would strive, fight the good fight, run the good race. So he would not be a castaway. Oh, wait a minute. How could the Apostle Paul be a castaway? Could he walk away from God? Yes. Yes. He always pushed forward in the spirit to listening and following his Lord. And we have a choice to make, everybody. Are you going to listen to the Lord in your heart? Or are you going to do something other than listening to the Lord in your heart? And most people, most what I call type 2 Christians, play church. It's a lot easier to do in the world than it is to really uh, only put the Lord first in your heart and listen to him and move in as he leads you to move and to fellowship with people that are truly his. It's a lot easier to play church and argue doctrine and talk about Bible than it is to really discipline yourself uh, to walk in the Holy Spirit of the Lord because it costs you everything. You cannot lay up something of this in this world for yourself and still follow Christ. You have to follow Christ. You are a witness unto him. This is you live and breathe. And wherever you go, the supermarket, the dog park, whatever, you are a witness unto him if you're one of his people. And it doesn't matter how much uh, head knowledge you have. God bless you, friends. Uh, maybe I'll do a little video a little later. Bye.